So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to another NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my lockdown build for Park and Rec. I've also played the starting five and I have yet to hit the theater, but I am thinking about it immensely. Now, a lot of people been in my Twitch streams, a lot of people been in uh, my recent YouTube streams and even my TikTok streams asking me what my build is constantly asking what are the attributes why did you choose this build and i guess today's a really good day to actually talk about it because i don't want to say i was rushed into making the build simply because i knew all of the requirements as well as i watch plenty of build videos since i didn't go to community day now i know that there are a lot of people out there that don't know anything about nba 2k so i will refer you to make sure that you check out my nba 2k news playlist because i have some tips and tricks videos there as well as a, a a bunch of info about 2k now as far as my build goes i want to let you guys know that i created a small forward lockdown build that can spot up and shoot now we will go over all of the details all of the attributes and why i chose those for the certain badge tiers so let's go ahead and hop into the video and make sure that you pull out your uh pen and pad take screenshots video record and also get ready to be in the comment section because i know a lot of people are going to have things to say about this build yeah they i did not buy you seen it uh. yo aaron appreciate that tier one. Oh yeah aaron underscore g237 has just subscribed set me up. crazy oh shit crazy oh, set me up like that it's crazy you set me up like that bro it's it's crazy bro, bro. Oh, X, 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 X. Good shit. Mm -hmm. oh. Indeed. 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 Oh, my, what screen am I looking at, bro? My screen. This is a, this is a, a screenshot. I'm oh, sorry. Playing me, bro. Hold on. All, all, all Phil. Yeah! Give me that. Oh. It's my fault. Yeah. Oh, good shit. Come on now. Yeah, I got I got bumped like four times. That made me this way. Give me that! Oh my god. No way you're that hockey. Bro, you you might as well make my build. If you're gonna make that build. First things first, the potential of this build is let's just say amazing. Um, as you can see, I am a small forward. I am 6'6", 250 pounds, and I have a 7'2 wingspan. Now, as you look at the max potential, there are a lot of 99s there. There are a couple 80s and a few 70s around there. Nothing in the 60s at all. So let's go ahead and look at the build, how I built it, and I'll tell you guys why I chose every single attribute and why I didn't pick some attributes at all. Now that we're taking a look at my build here, I wanted to talk to you guys about finishing for a moment. Now we already know I'm a lockdown with high physicals, but I want to talk to you guys about the three offensive categories for my build. As far as it goes for finishing, I knew for a fact that if I went heavy in layup and not so much in dunk, I knew that I wouldn't be able to finish because let's be honest, not everyone has the layup timing down. Sometimes there are bounce backs. There are uh, an immense amount of animations that you have to learn whether it's scoop layups floaters uh aggressive you know layups cradles euros spins it's it's a ton of animations that you're gonna have to learn being somebody who finishes at the rim with only a layup i went the safe route i went with an 80 driving dunk i put on a few athletic dunks that i have so when i do cut back door or i do cut from the hash or i am on the fast break and i do a push dribble that's by tapping R2, you know what I'm saying? Once I do that and I'm in an open court or I'm in an open lane, all I got to do is finish. All I got to do is dunk. And I always, always promise you, I dunk with two hands a lot. I do not press square anymore. I always flick up on the right stick when I'm driving with that R2 held. Because I'm a prom I promise you, if you don't 
you're going to end up getting bumped. You're going to end up getting, you know, harassed. Somebody's going to pull on your jersey. Somebody may even come from the corner to help and contest you a little bit. And I promise you, if all you have is layup, it's going to get ugly for you. Now, let's talk about shooting for a moment. A lot of people wanted to know why I went with the higher mid range than I did my three pointer. So when I told y'all I made this ultimate sacrifice, right? When I put up all of my defense, all of my physicals, shooting was the next thing that I did after playmaking. So when I said, okay, every jump shot in the video game is tied to two things, your three point range uh, attribute and your mid range attribute. It's easier for you to have a high mid range and get all of the jump shots that you want with a pretty okay three pointer. Because if you're a shooting build out there and you think that you need a 92 three and all of that, yeah, you need those for three point badges for, you know, higher limitless ranges and stuff like that. All I need is to be a corner sitter with the bases that I want, the, the, the release ones and twos that I want. So that's why I went with the 84 midi as well as there are a few badges out there that, you know, come with that as well. Like, I mean, these are some pretty good badges for being a spot up shooter. You feel what I'm saying? Now, as far as my three pointer goes, Mike Wang said that if you were an elite shooter, a 75 three pointer was enough. Let's be honest. There are not a lot of elite shooters out there, but there are a lot of people who watch the cues on certain jump shots. Now, everybody knows my jump shot. If you don't, go watch my other videos. I'm not going to tell you. But my jump shot, I used in NBA 2K23. I even made a video for that jump shot in NBA 2K23 because it was the first jump shot I started out with. Now, let's be honest. I've been a Q shooter for a very long time. I played 2K before the meter even came out. So when it comes to learning a jump shot, it's not hard for me to learn a jump shot, especially when jump shots look smooth and they are the entire person's jump shot let me be clear with the new pro play technology the new mocap you know technology that they have the jump shots all are going to look a lot different there are going to be small changes to all of these jump shots so if you decide to throw on let's say steph curry's base clay thompson's upper or something with you know something that doesn't look like the actual player's jump shot that you're choosing, it's going to look different. It's going to feel wonky because it's going to take time for you to learn what the base looks like, what the upper, like this is the upper release. Like, like if you catch the ball, right? Some jump shots crab the ball up top like this and then go into the shooting motions. It's super weird. So if you're not choosing a jump shot that is every base upper for that one player, it's going to look wonky. It's going to take time to learn. And you're going to have to play a lot of video games. Well, not video games, but games on my career, uh, you know, Sunset Parks and even Park and Rec. You're going to have to do that to learn all of the timing and all of the way that they look. And it's just it's a lot. OK, so me, I chose JT Thor. I told y'all I'm not saying it again, but let's talk about my free throw uh, for a minute. I didn't need a high free throw. All I needed was Carmelo Anthony. And I sometimes I go one for two. Sometimes I go two for two slightly late or slightly early in a green. All right. Um, pass accuracy. Huge for my build. Huge because I don't dribble or have speed with ball, which means I need to be able to get that ball on my hands for touch passes, as well as I need to make sure I get that needle threader popping. If you don't have at least silver passing badges, at least silver passing badges you are doing your build a disservice and i don't give a damn what build you made i don't care if you don't have silver as a power forward as a center as a small forward as a shooting guard as a point guard if you don't have at least silver badges something is wrong with you and and let's be honest bailout bailout is just is it costs a lot okay it needs an 87 but if you're not going to pass out a shot you don't need it all right now let's talk about my defense for a moment as you guys can see Gold and Hall of Fame badges. That's that's what I was truly looking for, but I couldn't make the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice to get all Hall of Fame badges and the defense simply because I wouldn't have been able to shoot. I wouldn't have been able to pass. I wouldn't have been able to finish. So my sacrifice were three Hall of Fame badges, okay? Three. Um, if you go down to your still, I got one in glove. I got uh, one fast feet, one pig dodger, and one clamp. So that's four Hall of Fame badges as a perimeter lock 
that I had to sacrifice on Hall of Fame in order to be a better shooter, a better finisher, and a better passer. And I'm going to be honest. If I'm in the threshold of 80, I am not mediocre in that. I just want you to realize that. That is not average, okay? Average is more so mid-70s. Once you reach the 80 threshold, you're becoming above average. But once you get into the 90s, you're an elite at what you do, okay? Now, let's talk about my... uh. My block for a moment. I wanted to make sure that I had chase down artists. I can't get anchor, which means I don't have any, you know, business being down in the paint, but that's okay because once the defender, if they beat me, drive to the paint, I rotate out to the hash or I rotate to corner to give help to the people that actually can help in the paint. And that's the way that my bill works, as well as most of the time people put up a stupid shot and I run down court. Yo, square, square. Every time. Now Let's talk about my physicals. My physicals mean so much to me because they allow my build to do what it's supposed to do. For instance, I have an 85 speed and an 80 acceleration. I have no speed booster, no hyper drive, but that chase down artist is key with my speed. My acceleration is key for fast feet. All right, key. I need fast feet in order to stay with the offensive player, okay? Not stay in front of them, Stay with them because I'm going to tell you now, they zipping. They are zip, zip, zipping, all right? Now, let's talk about my strength for a moment. Everything that has to do with strength in this game, look at all of the defensive badges that coincide with the strength. They are huge. You need strength to do things, whether you're on the perimeter or whether you're in the paint as a defender. So I chose a 90 strength. Vertical, 75. I get posterizer. I get Aerial Wizard, and of course, Chase Down Artist is tied to that as well. Now, Stamina. I'm just going to say it, man. 99 Stamina for 94 feet on Hall of Fame. It's amazing. By the way, I already have that badge on Hall of Fame. So make sure if you want to be a perimeter defender, go with a 99 Stamina. You will thank me later, especially if you are 230 pounds or more, because man, do you get bumpy. Now, since I've showed you guys what my build is, why I chose these things, I'm actually going to go inside of my career now and show you my badge progress for my build as well as the overall and how that is going. First things first, let's talk about my attributes for a moment. Now, you guys already know what my maxes are and where, you know, the potential goes. But what I wanted to show you guys is what my build looks like at 92 overall. I have a 91 still currently and it can go to 96, but for every level, for whether it's 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, or 99, only two, only two attribute points to my steel will go up every single level. I cannot go to 93 and put all of it in steel. I am starting to reach that cap simply because it's my highest attribute out of everything. Now, you already know, I told y'all, I don't have any ball handle. I don't have any speed with ball. I don't need it, but my pass accuracy is maxed. All of my shooting is maxed. I play rec now, so I need everything at my disposal. My driving, all I needed was my driving dunk and my driving layup to be finished. Close shot, I'll up that once, you know, I get there, but that's not on my list. Um, defensive rebound, again, I told y'all, I don't go for boards. So it was no reason for me to put it up. So at 92 overall, I'm missing my defensive rebound, my steal, my speed with ball, my ball handle, and my close shot. Everything else? It's almost maxed, except it's still. Let's talk about my badges for a moment. Now, of course, the badge DNA, I don't know why it looks like that. I'm not going to say what it looks like. But my closest upgrades is my off-ball pest, which goes to Hall of Fame, which is trending up very, very well. My bulldozer, which goes to silver, which is trending very, very well. My workhorse, which is going to Hall of Fame, which is trending pretty okay. And my biggest movers right now is corner specialist because people are starting to trust me in the corner more because I'm shooting 55 60 percent my bulldozer again is the biggest mover right now my catch and shoot is moving it's almost maxed out at gold about a quarter of the way there but the reason why bulldozer is moving so much let me show you all for a moment let's talk about these badge perks for a moment man yes sir let's talk about these badge perks what i ended up doing was right i made sure that there were badges that i needed to put in certain, you know, immunity, overdrive, and, and stuff like that. And what I did this morning was I took Bulldozer out of overdrive and I put off ball pest. So I'm alternating them every couple games. 
to see which badge moves faster. So once I get Bulldozer on Silver, and I got my layup up now and my driving dunk up now, I'm going to be pushing people out of the way with my 90 strength if a smaller guard comes up to me. So make sure when you're using badge perks, alternate them, swap them out, see how they work, see if they move your badges, see if they help stop regressing your badges. The reason why I have Immovable Enforcer on here is because Immovable Enforcer, it works, right? but it still regresses faster than a lot of my badges simply because guards don't run into me to get to the paint that much. They go from side to side for threes. So if I'm guarding ball, 94 feet is procking and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Fast feet is procking. But once I bump them in 94 feet, they know they can't get past me in half court. So a movable enforcer is now in the immunity tab forever. I am not taking that badge out of there because I'm going to need it when bigger players decide that they want to run into me and think that I can't stop them. You know what I'm saying? Playing it smart. You know what I mean? Now, of course, let me show y'all my S tier badges. Clamps. Almost. It's, it's almost it's almost done. It's regressing right now simply because I just got done playing three rec games and I was in corner while I was letting Ken get his badges. Now, remember, you have to play with a team or you know whether you're playing with randoms or no squads talk to people let people know that you're chasing a badge or whatever the case may be and play off of each other all right now let's talk about my a tier badges catch and shoot almost done fast feet <laughs> basically done it doesn't move workhorse on its way up uh 94 feet regressing a little bit again like i said i wasn't playing ball last game but it's already on hall of fame all right um my b tier badges the movable enforcer we just talked about that open looks i'm telling you get open looks right man i'm telling it's gonna it's, it's gonna it's gonna do you very very well off ball pass again like i told y'all it's trending up so much because i was guarding corner last uh three games in wreck so i was holding my defender the entire time and they kept trying to get get loose whether they want to the flare up to the wing or they want to the cut to the paint and they couldn't get past me so that's why this badge is trending upwards so much this is how you have to play the game. You have to play to your strengths, okay? Now, let's talk about floor setters for a moment. I will say, don't touch no floor setters at all for at least a season, okay? I know that, you know, everybody want to set their floor setters and stuff and get a badge up. Don't do it just yet. See what badges trend up and down, you know what I mean? And see which badges you really like. And if you, you have a badge that you love and it's regressing very, very fast, Put it at a floor setter, whether it's going to be silver or whether it's going to be gold. Put it there so that it doesn't drop below. You know what I mean? Especially if it's one of those badges that you love so much, but it doesn't proc that much because you don't use it as much. Don't floor set any badges that you use all the time. The ones that proc so much, never set them as floor setters. And for me, 94 feet, immovable enforcer, fast feet, uh, clamps. I will never use them as floor setters interceptor but interceptor because i'm a defender i may floor set that at silver soon so you know that hey you just got to be smart about the way that you create your build use your badges and stuff like that now performance multipliers i am still working on those um i could show you the quest for a moment um let's see quest you got side let's see where they at um performance multipliers okay boom i have six out of 40 teammate um grade a or minus i got 10 out of 30 uh teammate grade a minus in a wreck um having won uh anything against a tough opponent for affiliation um games won against a tough opponent in wreck one out of 30 uh winner takes all 32 out of 50 games won in any affiliation almost done with that for atm uh winner takes all 22 out of 40 games won in a wreck so my performance multipliers are coming along nicely. I know that I'll get affiliation probably first, rec secondary, because to beat a tough opponent in a rec, like I got one, but I got zero in an affiliation. So I don't know which whichever one might might prop first, but we'll see. Last but not least, before we get out of here, let's talk about the takeover for a moment. If you do get mama mentality, trust me, you're gonna love it. Make sure you do the Chris Brickley stuff and make sure you get Mama Mentality. But if you can get the sponge perk, get that 
as soon as possible. Every time somebody takes an action to do something to get them takeover, you get a small little percentage boost, okay, to your takeover. And Accelerator, in order to get Accelerator, you have to unlock all the takeover perks to get Accelerator. So don't even think about Accelerator for the first week to two weeks of the game because you're not going to get it, all right? <laughs> Just make sure that you focus on Sponge. Maybe you can get Juice, you know what I mean, if you do the Donovan Mitchell uh, Street Ball Challenge, which isn't up yet because i think Kawhi leonard's is up right now so just trust me keep looking at the quest keep looking at the timers on the daily to make sure you get all of your your takeovers that you need all right i know that i held y'all up pretty long in this video but i want to thank you guys so much for watching my creation build video simply because this is my online build for park and wreck i will be making a point guard for my no money spent my career series so make sure that you guys look out for that i'll be creating a playlist very soon that you can subscribe to um so make sure that you just you know go to my channel go to my playlist go to uh you know the the build name that i'll have for my no money spent series and then you know we'll get that thing cracking but for now i'm doing online for like the first week of the game but we'll hop into that in my career i promise all right um i'm not trying to let y'all down at all your boy is busy i'm working just uploaded two tips and tricks videos just uploaded my first park video and again sell squad first park video coming soon all right i'll see you guys in the next video this is your boy ikc signing out peace